Magnificent images captured by the first ultra-high-resolution camera in Earth's orbit display our planet's brilliant blue color against the dark expanse of space. A Chinese private firm called Astronomical Achievement released the 360-degree camera into space from whence the photographs were shot. According to Insta360, a camera business based in Shenzhen, these photos are only the beginning. It intends to take comparable sharp pictures of the Milky Way and stars soon. The project's engineers worked for a year to modify the company's commercially available cameras for use in space travel. During that time, they conducted six months of research and development to simulate or surpass the extreme environments, such as cosmic radiation, that the cameras would face. Developers ran thousands of experiments, with temperatures in space ranging from 94 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on which part of Earth the camera is circling. Radiation testing, vacuum simulations, and putting the cameras in boxes with high and low temperatures were all used during the testing process. On January 16, the business launched two X2 cameras 500 kilometers into space. After that, they were mounted on satellites and subjected to a variety of hostile conditions such as radiation, intense heat or cold, shock, and vibration from the rocket launch. The endeavor requires a good deal of luck in addition to hardware. According to the manufacturer, space can be unpredictable, and there is no backup hardware or software if the camera runs into any issues. Fortunately, both of the cameras and their sensors are in excellent working order and provide a breathtaking view of space. The company's X2 cameras are so amazing that even when watched on many high-end TVs, which have a 4K resolution limit, their 5, 7K quality, 360-degree films and photographs cannot be completely appreciated. The public may currently acquire Insta 361 X2 cameras for roughly $300 US dollars. Insta360 tested their cameras in a space environment simulator, commonly referred to as a thermal vacuum chamber. This type of chamber is meant to expose equipment to circumstances similar to those it will encounter in space, especially by lowering the atmospheric pressure and subjecting it to extreme temperatures. The SES uses a cryopump, which is simply a bigger version of a household vacuum cleaner, to accomplish this. By infusing liquid nitrogen into the chamber, the cryopump eliminates all gases except for the smallest amount of air, which is reduced to around one billionth of Earth's typical atmospheric pressure. In the course of the initial testing, engineers discovered that radiation may have an impact on the glue sealing the X2, and that the camera's systems would malfunction in extremely cold temperatures. Additionally, it may lead to the lens losing pressure, which would result in poor resolution and image quality, according to the company's vacuum environment test. With the goal of launching in 2022, engineers began working on the project in July 2021, but the COVID-19 epidemic forced them to postpone. According to Insta360, its sex 2 cameras are designed to operate for two years, after which they will autonomously exit Earth's orbit and burn up in space. The cameras complete a full lap around the planet every 90 minutes. To ensure the mission's success, the business stated it collaborated with Spacity, a satellite company, and MediaStorm. Spacity's satellites use an increasingly popular yet ingenious synthetic aperture radar SAR, technique, which modifies the wavelengths of signals emitted by the SAR satellites, relatively smaller antennas, to mimic the high-resolution imaging of larger satellites with larger antennas. In January of last year, U.S. officials identified Spacity Co. LTD as a potential security concern, despite the stunning photographs. Spacity was charged by the U.S. Department of the Treasury DOT, for aiding and abetting the Wagner Group's military operations in Russia and the nation's military actions in Ukraine. The statement stated that Spacity supplied financial, material, or technical support for, or goods or services to or in support of Terra Tech, referring to the Russian Federation Army's tech company, with a statement claiming it has complied with the international sanctions placed on Russia. Spacity refuted the accusations, stating it never had any commercial relationship, or struck any arrangement, or signed any agreements with the Russian firm accused by the United States. The business went on 
Since the beginning of the Russo-Ukrainian War, we have ceased all business dealings and commercial ties with other Russian entities, and we have never and ever participated in any form of military activities in support of the Wagner Group and the Russo-Ukrainian War. Just one week had passed since Insta360 deployed the X2 cameras onto its satellite before Spacity was put to the SDN list. The dot did not say whether the debut of Insta360 and the addition of Spacity to its SDN list were relayed. The corporation focused entirely on the amazing images its cameras took while orbiting the Earth from space, mentioning no worries about collaborating with Spacity and boasting that it has accomplished the impossible. The business stated in a news statement that despite obstacles, the project truly encapsulates what it means to think bold and has only fueled Insta360's desire to develop products that endure extreme conditions. This is just the beginning of how far Insta360 can push the limits, was the conclusion.